Everything is good in a small sample size, almost everything. You ever get in a convertible during the summer, flying around country roads? Got to look at the beach. I love a convertible. Then fall and winter happens and it rains. And then spring happens and it rains. The convertible is not as cool. Get back inside a car. Um, Everybody's freaking out over Taylor Heineke. First of all, we get it. You hate Carson Wentz. And the Taylor Heineke story, plucky, small guy, feels great. He had a 66 passer rating last night. Every quarterback in this league with a dominant run game playing with a lead looks great. Baker did. Geno Smith has been great all year. Did you see what happened Sunday? They couldn't run the ball, and he trailed. And Geno Smith looked like Geno Smith. Washington had 49 rushes last night and 40 minutes time of possession. Taylor Heineke was asked to make a couple of big throws, and he hit one big throw, Terry McLaurin, who is just so good all the time. But the biggest play for Taylor Heineke was baiting on a Philadelphia Eagle to get a roughing the passer. And he is a crafty player because he has to be a crafty player. This is, this is a crafty play from a crafty player, right? That's what he does. Because he doesn't have the size. A ball was hiked over his head. Would have helped if he was taller. He got rocked early by a bigger defensive lineman and fumbled. He's a crafty guy and a crafty player and der- deserves credit. But the Washington defense forced four turnovers. What quarterback that gets four turnovers, a 40 minutes time of possession, a dominant run game, who doesn't win? Colt McCoy wins with that. There's a lot of guys, small sample size. Kyle Allen was great. And then after a, a few wins, they were like, hey, Kyle, we're trailing l- late. Go. That's what changes Mahomes. The score is irrelevant with Mahomes. Doesn't matter if there's five minutes left or 13 seconds, leading or trailing. Same with Burrow. Josh Allen feels like that. Heck, Kirk Cousins this weekend trailing. So small sample size. It's one of those things last night. Consider last night like one of those things you did in high school or college, a group project. Four turnovers, 40 yards time of possession. Terry McLaurin, a great catch. It's like a group project, and Taylor Heineke's really well-liked, and he gets an A on the group project, but he didn't lead it. I get it. You don't like Wentz, and you like the Taylor Heineke story. Everybody loves the vice president. Everybody loves the backup quarterback. Everybody loves the substitute teacher. You can't build around that stuff. J-Mac with the news. No, 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 no. Turn on the news. This is the Herdline News. Uh, you just have to take a jab at Taylor Heineke. Is that is that a way that you're defending Carson Wentz? Because he's not getting his job back. They love Taylor Heineke in Washington, Colin. Hey, by the way, fun number for you. Taylor Heineke, 9-3 and three against the spread in his t- last 12 starts. The guy gets the job done and they like him. Okay. Nobody's saying he's a starter. But you mentioned the ball what goes over his head. You know what's even more important on that play? He had the wherewithal to quickly pick it up get outside the tackle box, and throw it away. Yeah. They lost no yardage. That's a smart, heady player. Listen, I've done my homework on Taylor Heineke. He's this crafty. guy was an awesome high school football player in Georgia. Like, state player of the year. Incredible. Goes to ODU. What does he do at ODU? You yeah. don't even know. Virginia. Old Dominion. Yeah, Old Dominion. He was dominant. 10-3, and, and 11-2 every year. Old Dominion. This guy is loved by Washington. They're giving him the treatment on social media. For Listen. the plane ride home last night. They yes. got the chains around him. He's okay. doing his cool thing. They have the worst owner. It's the most chaotic organization, so they're dying for somebody to wrap their arms around. And Taylor Heineke is a wonderful story. Yeah. But he was asked to make about two throws last night. One to the perpetually underrated Terry McLaurin, who's good every time you watch him play. This was a group project, but it was the defense of Philadelphia, the O-line of Philadelphia, uh, uh, of Washington. Washington won that game and controlled it both sides all Mm -hmm. night. He was part of the group project. He gets he gets an A, too. Yeah. Let's take a deep breath. He, the, the weird thing, the dynamic of the backup quarterback being so popular. I'll tell you who's not popular. Carson Wentz. He is not popular. <laughs> He's never been popular at any of his stops because he walks in. Oh, yeah, man. I was the number one pick. I'm Carson Wentz. Never been loved in any locker room he's been in, Colin. You can look that up. They like Carson Wentz in Washington. All right, moving on. Let's get started with uh, a, little, a little feud here. Jeff Saturday, the new Colts coach, right? He gets the win over the Raiders. A lot of controversy behind the hire. And, you know, uh, Hall of Famer Bill Cowher 
He ripped Saturday. Are you ready for this? Yes. For an owner to hire a coach who has never been an assistant at the college or pro level and overseeing a lot of qualified candidates to build a resume, it's a disgrace to the coaching profession. In regards to how this played out, what happened in Indianapolis is a travesty. Well, that's, and now, a, that's a little over the top. Yeah, just a little. Go ahead. I know you want to go in on Cal. Well, first of all, I know Jeff very well. He's a great guy. Um, and I think a lot of times, again, small sample size, a lot of things look great. Do I think this will play out to a playoff for the Colts? No. Do I think it feels a little strange and odd? Yes. Do I think they have an incredibly impulsive owner who wanted Wentz out of town, who wanted Frank Reich fired? It's a very impulsive franchise currently, and uh, the billionaire has every right to do that. Uh, I think... The only disappointing thing to me is the coaches went over the top. Rex Ryan, Bill Cowher, it's not a travesty. It is an impulsive owner who's been doing things like this since Andrew Luck retired early. He's taken big swings. He's meddled too much. This feels a little strange. I'm happy for Jeff. It, it, it never rose to a travesty. Uh, Jeff is smart, capable, knows the game. By the way, like catchers in baseball, some of the smartest players in league history are centers. Because you call the audible, so Jeff is high functioning. Don't don't let's not marginalize Jeff. It's just some country bumpkin. Saturday is really bright. Knows football. Manage Peyton Manning, who's a lot of work for years. Jeff is sharp as a tack. Don't kid yourself. He's one of my favorite guys ever at ESPN. The coaches I thought went over the top. They're protecting their profession. Yes. Listen, it's an impulsive owner. Impulsive owners in this league have done crazier things than naming Jeff Saturday an interim coach. Yeah. Protecting the profession, I think you're onto something with that. Like calling this a travesty? Come on. Why? Because they pulled a guy off the street who just beat the Raiders and, and the mighty yeah. Josh Na McDaniels? Naming me interim, that's a travesty. Naming Jeff Saturday interim coach, that's unique. But it's oh. not a travesty. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's move on to Odell Beckham Jr. He expects to have a decision and a deal by the end of the month, according to Adam Schefter. The team's in the mix. Dallas Cowboys, the Buffalo Bills, although I would write them off because Odell said he does not want cold weather. Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, good Lord. More weapons? New York Giants <laughs> and the San Francisco 49ers. Colin, you uh, you want to guess a best fit or where you think this ends no, up? No, I think, I think Dallas, once again, as we watch Dallas this week in a big fourth down, Dallas has struggled all season on third and fourth downs. Why? The O-line's not as good. Zeke is kind of washed. They need more juice. Dallas is the spot here. No state tax, big brand. They need another guy. By the way, Michael Gallup, I don't know his health, but he limped in that Packer game. He came up a little limpy-gimpy on one play. Dallas.